Hello and welcome back to Tea with Tracy. Coming to you live every Tuesday at 12, spilling relevant tips, trends, and talk in all things real estate and home ownership related. Today, we are going to be continuing on with a series that we're doing once a month. It's Making Busy Beautiful. And our guest today, designer, author, and speaker, Holly Germati of HG Makeovers, will be joining us today. Today, we're going to be talking about reducing clutter in our homes and how important that is and how you can do that. So without further ado, let's get Holly on to join us. Hi, Holly. Yay. Yay. Woo -woo. We are connected. <laughs> how are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I am fantastic on this mid-April snowy day. <laughs> Like, I didn't know I'd be wearing boots. I'm wearing boots today, you know, just in case, and uh, the sweaters. and <laughs> Same here. Fur lined. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 The uh, the lined pants as well. So <laughs> I want to be warm. <laughs> yep. Oh, so we are talking again today. We're, we're continuing on with our series, the series Making Busy Beautiful. And we've kind of been walking through the steps of, well, first of all, different aspects of it and what's important. But today you're actually going to be giving us some to do's, like some actual action steps that we can do yes. to reduce some clutter. Yeah, so. so I'm going to be, I have a very specific system that okay. has worked for me time and time again over the years. And, and you can use these steps to just go big, go small. Just okay. say, start with one room that you know is not functioning the way it should. It's got okay. too much stuff in it. Um, I just want to share the steps on how to just as efficiently as possible, mm -hmm. clear the clutter, divide and conquer, and okay. and get your space to where it needs to be. Sounds good. I'm ready to do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it all okay. in today, and then I'm ready to put some of these steps into action. So let's right. let's hear yes, them. Right. Yeah. Well, okay. I'll 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 lay it out there, and if you want to okay. interject at any point, I'm I'm all yours. So okay. Okay. So what you want to do is. First of all, your mindset. Before you conquer and decide to take on a project, you need to know exactly what your goals are. And I think so many of us, when we, we it's really the overwhelm and the attachment to things yeah. that prevents us from really just going into a space and, and getting it done. Right. I the, mean, the I struggle overwhelm with the same thing. It can be paralyzing, right? Like you're like, yes. oh, I don't even know what to do. Or oh, but this so-and-so gave to me, or, you know, this brings up this memory. It might just be sitting and I do nothing with it and I don't even really <laughs> notice it other than it right. adds to the, you know, overall of a room, but yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm dealing with it right now. I've got a garage that desperately needs some cleaning up over the course of the winter. I've got a lot of storage and because it's been so cold all spring, I just keep saying, well, I'm going to wait until the weather breaks so I can have the garage door open and, and, and enjoy it. And I can feel like the anxiety because the warm weather's not happening. Right. And, and it's like, I know I need a day out there, but it's really about, okay, so mindset. So um, get focused on what your goals are. And in your mind, I would say, definitely schedule a certain block of time. So okay. you don't, you don't get sucked down into the rabbit hole of, uh, Oh, I found a photo album and suddenly I'm on the floor in my basement right. looking through high school pictures, right. and, you know, and then I'm texting my old friends or whatever. So right. set a timer, know exactly what your block of time is going to be okay. and be very specific about what you have to have rules on. Okay. We're going to, empty it, you're going to empty the space and then you're going to have to divide and conquer and you need to know what kind of mood what's what's the goal here is this a half you know that a bunch of this is trash and needs to go or is this more like okay i just need to get organized it's not so much about getting mm -hmm. rid of a bunch of things so there's right. usually an end goal um in mind so know what know what your goal is okay um that's, I guess, step one. But okay. well, mindset, action, mindset is part of it. Mindset. Like being, being oh, prepared, wait. knowing your goal, knowing yes. like Stephen Covey, right? Begin with the end in mind. So know where you want yes. to be and mentally start there. Yes. Okay. You got it. Okay. So 
these steps are so basic and simple and easy, <laughs> but, but they are steps and you, and I think it's very important to, to do, to, to step one, step two, step three, or else you will get overwhelmed. Okay. And this is just to keep it, you know, to just keep the flow going okay. and get it done. Okay. So the first thing you're going to do is you have like, let's just say you're going to do it in a bedroom, spare bedroom. That's okay. a great example. Spare bedroom has collected all kinds of stuff over the course of maybe a couple of years. Uh, you're going to empty everything out of the room that is not a piece of furniture. Okay. So empty. When you say empty it, where are you putting everything? You're going to take it into the next room. You're going to okay. have an open area planned. Uh, it depends on where you're located in your home, but whatever. You're going to have a space okay. where you're going to just take everything and you get it out of the room. Okay. That allows the room to kind of breathe and for you to kind of like assess and look at it all. As, as you're taking it out, you can right away divide <laughs> it. You're going to, you're going to divide it into two piles. Okay. Keep and no keep. Keep and no all keep. Right? Okay. That's simple keep enough. Keep and no keep. Okay. Easy breezy, right? Yeah. yeah. But but think about it. How often right. are you taking like something and you're like, am I going to keep this or not keep this? This is the most imperative time to know your end goal. Right. Because right. if you're, if you're, what if you're moving? What if you're, you know, you have, you have a reason that you you're doing this. Right. And, and so it, like knowing right away when you grab something, is this keep or no keep? That's going to save you a ton of time and be okay. prepared to like make that decision. Don't take, don't mull it over. Right. Okay. Okay. So keep or no keep, you divide it into two piles. So now you've got this empty room and you have a heap of stuff, maybe in one room and a heap <laughs> of stuff in another room. Keep and no Sorry, keep. Sorry, kids. You don't need to get into your rooms today. So <laughs> yeah. Oh no. We're doing all this in like two hours. Oh, this two like, hours. Wow. Is, okay. So I this mean, is really, like, get this is, okay. Yeah. All right. All so right. for so, those of us who so get paralyzed, now, unparalyzed and just do it, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do okay. It. Okay. All right. So, so you've got your two piles now. Okay. And now this is just a matter of let's tackle the things that we're not going to keep first. So the no keep pile, uh, now you're going to, now you're going to divide that into three categories and it's either going to be something you're going to sell. Okay. And you can put, so you can divide this into piles now, a sell pile, okay. a donate pile, whether it's to charity or to someone in need or a family member, whatever. Okay. Uh, sell, donate and trash. And trash. Okay. So I think that is helpful to have that being a secondary step because I feel like when I go into a room or to an area, I'm trying to decide right then and there, not only if I'm going to keep or not keep it, but what am I going to do with it if I'm not going to keep it? And that yeah. really, I feel, slows it down. So. Yeah. So you don't. Yeah. So yeah. absolutely. It's, it's a secondary step. You're yeah. going to. So so that I think saves a ton of time knowing that all you have to do in the beginning is just remove and know if you're going to keep it or not keep it. You'll come back to it to both right. piles later. Right. So now in this phase two, you're going through the no keep. You're dividing sell, donate trash. That's all pretty self-explanatory. It's yep. gone. Right. Though, right. Yeah. The goal right. is you're not Get keeping it, it out. Do you have any time frame? So like if you're going to donate, um, or, you know, whatever you're going to do, a time frame that you should, you know, get it to those places. <laughs> if, you know, that's, that's really up to you on how yeah. motivated you are. But, right. you know, if you're going to, if you're going to take time and I, I, full disclosure, I had this trick back a lot, 20 years ago when yeah. I was newlywed. Right. And my husband had, he was a man that just had a lot. He had a lot of clothing. He had a lot of stuff and he would travel. I would go into his closet I'd clean out. I'm like, he's never worn this. I've never even seen this on him. <laughs> Sometimes. So I would collect a bag of things and then I would put it in storage in the basement. And if he didn't miss what was in that bag after six months, yeah. I would donate the whole bag. Ah, so you if, if you're dealing with, you know, kids that just, you know, they just have a bunch of junk and you know that they're not going to ever know what's even gone. Right. Uh, right. You, know, you could do, you could kind of use that system, but okay. if you're motivated and it's your stuff, then Right. Then that's just up to you. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. That sounds great. So, so you've already tackled your no keep pile. Now we're going to yes. jump back to the stuff we're going to keep. So okay. we're, you have the keep pile and now you get to go through and establish 
does this stuff that you're going to keep, does it belong in the room that you've removed it from ah, or not? Right. Because a good our goal <laughs> is if, you know, if this is a guest bedroom, then right. we only want to bring things back in that are, that would belong in the guest bedroom. Right. If right. it's something that belongs. So, so really you're going to, if it doesn't belong in the room, you find a new place for it within your right. home. And if you can't find a place for it, then you need to put it into storage, which would be garage, basement, okay. attic, whatever. And if you like, what if you're stuck and you're just thinking, well, it, you know, I really, if you get to storing it and you're still not feeling it, maybe it belonged in your, in your no keep pile. Okay. All right. You may do some more sifting depending. So all those cassette tapes, you know, from way back when that. I don't even have a cassette tape player, but you know, you see the covers and it's like, oh, but you remember this song? Maybe, maybe you have a repurposed pile in there. Uh, okay. A repurpose, you know? <laughs> so maybe those cassette covers you take out and you just, you're not ready to get rid of them, but right. maybe you can condense it a little. Right. I don't know. Okay. All right. Or yeah. they could just go because, yeah. Mean, you're going to buy the song or listen to it online now anyway. Right? So, yeah. I know. Uh, so now what do we have? We have your, you have your empty room. It's yep. a great time to, you know, maybe you stop for the day. Maybe that's been your two hours, but right. now that the room is empty, great time to do a deep clean, yes. uh, you know, but when you're ready to move things back in, be very mindful of what the fun, what the end function of that room is and what the energy you want that room to exude because right. it's important. And and maybe the things that you're going to keep in the room, maybe now you're in need of, like, what if you have some magazines that you think you want to keep in that room and maybe you just need some storage for that, then you can make a note. Maybe you want to go invest in a cute little basket. Like now's where you get to like come at putting that space back together right. and get a little creative about, okay, now this is like the makeover. This is the fun part. We're right. going to put things yeah. back. And, uh, and decide how we want, how these things belong in the room and where they look best and how they will function and serve, serve us best. Right. So, okay. Do you have a tip for somebody who is having a hard time deciding that first step, keep, no keep, like, do you have, you know, like a, a word of advice as to how mm. to determine which pile to put it into? It, you know, this is where that emotional attachment really yeah. comes in. It really depends on what type of space you're clearing out. I mean, if it is, uh, okay, if we're talking about a spare bedroom, we're kind of assuming that it's been a collect-all right. of a lot of multiple things over the course of the year. I'm I'm envisioning, like, wrapping paper, right. gift wrap <laughs> supplies, maybe some old clothing, or, you know, it's just kind of collect-all. It really you really just need to set some ground rules. If it's like clothing, I tell people, okay, if you haven't worn it in the last 12 months, get rid of it. Right. Um, maybe be thinking about the people that could use it. Mm -hmm. And maybe that would help you to really embrace the idea of giving something away is if I haven't used it in the last year, yeah. uh, maybe someone else could benefit from it. There are organizations, yeah. um, I know, especially if you're a female watching, I do believe they take me men's clothes as well, but there's a lot of organizations and local, good local ones that provide to women who, for one reason or another, have gone through a tough time in their life and, you know, mm -hmm. they need clothing, gently used clothing that yeah. um, you could really bless somebody's day by, you know, something that you forgot that you have or you, you know, pass it by every time for whatever reason when you're going to pick an outfit out. So um, I know I took your challenge the last time that we were on. I did go through. I, I have stacks of clothes that I used to be really good about clearing my closet out, you know, regularly and just kind of hadn't done it in a while. So I yeah. went through and I, I pulled out quite a bit. So <laughs> It it, feel, did you feel good yeah. when you were done? Yeah, it feels great. It almost makes me want to go again and do round two. I'm like, hmm. I, uh, I, I read a book, um, I read a book several years ago and the author, she had done this challenge, which for seven months she had only had like 30 of something. So she, or was it seven? I, I, it was something very minimal. And so she lived off of just the same few pieces of closing over the course of the month and realized that 
she didn't really need, like she had like some good mm-hmm. versatile pieces and didn't really need as much as what she had had. How so many of us yes. collect and keep so many things. So. Yeah, it's true. And I find too, that whether you're talking about a closet or just any space, once you get rid of the stuff, the additional things that collect, yeah, um, you really enjoy what you, you've kind of, it's kind of like a rebirthing of what you do own and you're appreciating what you do have. And, and just, I don't know, I, I think it just brings a, a sense of happiness and yeah. gratitude to, to your everyday life. It like, does. It does. When I clean through a closet, if it's my personal wardrobe, I sit back and I think like I'll walk in to get dressed and I'm thinking I have so much more than I thought, even though right. I'm looking at less, mm-hmm. it you just, everything looks fresh and new and it feels better and it's clean and I don't know. It feels good. It really does, it does. feel good. Yes. Having less feels better than having more. I, I can't explain it, it but it does. <laughs> so, so. Yeah. Well, so we, we start by clearing out the space, then we go through keep or no keep. Then from the yep. no keep, we decide if we are going to donate, sell or trash it. Um, yes. And then on the keep side, we are deciding, does it belong back in that space or does it need to have, is, is there a space somewhere else within our home that it needs to be? It might be? belong in a different room altogether. Right, right. right? It could be just I mean, that you like, set it there and it just never left. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Then I I think um, with the sell, we didn't touch on what to do if you're going to sell something. But I think Facebook Marketplace has really taken over. Yeah. Basically, I think that's where everybody's going right now to sell just about anything. Yes. I can't think of anything you can't sell in Facebook Marketplace. and It's such an easy thing to do. So it is That's probably my recommendation. So, okay. So yeah. So sell, you can that, or, I mean, again, like selling is great and there are some things, but I find for myself, because if it took me so long just to get to the space, to clear it out, taking the time to actually take the pictures, post it to sell, and then either, you know, arrange the pickup and stuff, um, you know, just having it gone and knowing that if I'm donating it, it's going to somebody who's going to be able to benefit. And I donate, I don't donate to some of the bigger donation centers. I usually donate Mm -hmm. to some local organizations that I know that, you know, what I'm donating is going directly to somebody who's going to be able to use it. So, yeah, um, it just, and that feels good. And it's, you know, so yeah, but uh, yeah. And, right. and again, you can, you know, you can apply this to literally the junk drawer, right? You know, if, right. if you're the kind of person where you're feeling like you're not tackling the basement storage, but you, you just want to feel accomplished, right? Just start, use the system and start small. Okay. Start small. So that's a great suggestion. I have a pro- professional organizer um, from absolutely organized Becky Samick on a while back. And that was one of her things too. start small, like, yeah. right. Build up the confidence, get yourself to where, mm-hmm. you know, you are you know, you're feeling good about it. And I guess it depends on how much time, right? How much time you Mm -hmm. have. And that goes back to what you said with your frame of mind and knowing what you want to accomplish. So even if you do have a bigger project, but you only have so much time, maybe it's something that takes you the course of a couple of weeks and you just use that amount of time and have your space set aside, right? So if you're wherever you're going to clear out space, know that that space is going to stay that way until you're done with the project. Yeah. Even if you're setting the timer for an hour at a time, you can get so much done. Those bigger projects. I mean, I've done that with my basement, you know, those, I had a couple storage areas and it's like, they were, they were big projects. Uh, But I just would set, you know, chisel out an hour here, an hour there and, and try not to get overwhelmed. Yeah. Yeah. So I know we're, we're running short on time. We're going to wrap it up, but, but there was a woman, um, she had this website, she was the fly lady. And one, I don't know if you've ever heard of her before, but she said you can do anything in 15 minutes a day. And so similar to what you're saying, she said, you know, you you know, just take 15 minutes. You're done. After that 15 minutes is up, that's it. You don't have to continue, you know, and then, and that's it. So, um, yeah. Yeah. So Um, yeah, all about it. Little bites, right? It's how you eat an elephant. (laughs) So, yep. So, well, thank you so much for coming on today, Holly, and giving us tips and motivation to go and start 
reducing that clutter in our homes, whether it's just a drawer, whether it is a spare bedroom or a basement or something larger, but just get started, right? Action breeds action. So the more you do it, the more you'll feel energized and feel good and then want to continue to do it. So absolutely. So yep. we hope we brought you some inspiration today and stay tuned next month. Holly will be back again and give us the next installment of how to make busy beautiful. So thank you all for tuning in, whether live or on the replay. Thank you, Holly, for joining us yes. today. And we will see you all next week on Tea with Tracy. Thanks so right. much. Thanks, Tracy. Right. Have Bye -bye. a good day. You too. Bye. Bye.